Yes, this is the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, a land of song and laughter, a tiny bit of the United States in the warm seas of the Atlantic and the Caribbean. San Juan, capital of the island, was an important city a hundred years before the pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock. Today it is the air crossroads of the Western Hemisphere. Walk down any street in this 400-year-old city, you'll hear staccato Spanish, you'll see Spanish signs. Every square block presents a sharp contrast between Old Spain and Main Street, USA. Columbus discovered Puerto Rico in 1493. This is La Fortaleza, Puerto Rico's White House, built in 1533 as a Spanish fortress. Today, the flag of the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico waves proudly beside Old Glory. Governor Luis Munoz Marin, who spearheaded Puerto Rico's world-famous Operation Bootstrap, leads ceremonies marking the island's new status as a commonwealth with its own constitution. Heroes of Korea, some of the 5,000 Puerto Rican troops who served valiantly with United Nations forces. Complete self-government was approved by the U.S. Congress and union by consent with the United States was overwhelmingly voted by the people of Puerto Rico. American citizens all. Today, Puerto Rico has come into its own, a real democracy. San Juan's loveliest adorn these floats which symbolize Puerto Rico's progress. If you're in a hurry, high-flying constellations get you to San Juan in about six hours from New York or four hours from Miami. Low fare tourist flights are available too. You land right in the heart of San Juan, only a few minutes away from the hotels and beaches. There are no customs barriers, and the U.S. dollar or dime is standard currency. More than half a million passengers each year go through this air terminal. They call this San Juan's Gold Coast, the center of its resort hotels, casinos, and nightlife. Here is the Condado Beach Hotel with its private oceanfront beach club. It's a vacation paradise 12 months of the year. Breathtakingly beautiful, a gem in the tropics, the fabulous Cariba Hilton Hotel. Even the approaches are modern. Every room is air-conditioned. Here truly is living fit for a king. A hotel bathed in sunshine and splendor, with its private bathing lagoon, swimming pool, and elaborate recreational facilities. My, oh my, the old swimming hole never had anything on this. Tropical treats, too. Mm -hmm. Coconut milk. A delicious Puerto Rican rum. This is really living. Nearby is Spanish-built Port San Geronimo. San Juan's newest is the La Rada Hotel. Let's listen to unique Caribbean music from Antigua. Its melody out of sawed-off steel drums. An oil drum serenade. headquarters for big game sports fishing. Many world record catches have been made in virgin fishing waters here. Most popular historical attraction in San Juan is El Moro. It is the largest Spanish port on American soil. More than 30,000 tourists visit it each year. French, Dutch, and British buccaneers tried vainly to capture it. 
400 years ago, people were dependent upon this fort for protection. The Spanish built it to guard against sea raiders, and in the last war, it was armed against submarine attacks. Golf in a fort? Well, seeing is believing. The El Moro course is one of the sportiest on the island. Baseball isn't just a sport here, it's a crusade. Mainland big leaguers play with professional Puerto Rican teams during the winter season. Broad avenues in San Juan lead to residential districts where houses resemble those in Florida, California, or Texas. Puerto Rican architects designed all these homes for real comfortable living. Everybody grows and loves flowers in Puerto Rico. These are red ginger blossoms. Homes for everybody. Housing gets top priority in Puerto Rico's booming economy. Many low-rental public housing apartments are springing up throughout the island.